What's up, what's up, what's up, my lifers? How are we? Welcome back to No Lace Journey in the World with your girl, me, Angie, and Real Life. Look, guys, welcome to Angie and Real Life. You guys will come here and you will get encouraged, you will get influenced, and you will get motivated. I am known as your hope dealer and your purpose pusher, pusher. So guess what? All things on Angie and Real Life are created with you in mind. So if you subscribe to this channel, you will not regret it. So here's what you got. To do hit the bell, subscribe, share, and comment too. It's Angie in real life, it's Angie in real life, it's Angie in real life, it's one L in real life. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my subscribers. I love you so, 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 so much. AKA, you guys are known as lifers. So, join the movement and see you in the next video. Deuces. and world changers welcome to angie and real life empowerment tv i am your host angie and today i would like to say don't forget to like share comment subscribe hit that like button like share comment and subscribe share me out on all social media platforms before i get too far into this video welcome to all my new subscribers and all the returning subscribers lifers you are my regular subscribers world changers are my channel members speaking of channel members if you haven't yet gotten a channel membership, please consider doing so. I always say join the movement because we are world changers. How changing our lives first and then going out to help change those that are in the world. Today's video, um, welcome to another video. Keep calm and in the keep calm and trust God series. Okay. And today we are saying God is our refuge and strength and the very present help and trouble. Did y'all hear me read it? Let me read it again. God is our refuge and our strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Y'all, I remember a long time ago. Oh yeah, for those who are wondering what this channel is all about. It is just what it is, Angie and Real Life Empowerment TV, empowering you to lead a successful life every day and every day, every day living, y'all. Um, um, encourage you, motivate, and inspire you uh, through my life experiences, experiences and the Word of God. Y'all, I love the Word of God because the Bible says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but His Word shall never fail. Keep calm and trust God. Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge and strength in our present time. Help in a time of trouble, y'all. Look, I remember one time, she's dead now, one of the girls I went to school with, and she used to sing this song, and I loved it. She had the most beautiful voice, right? And I used to try to mock, uh, mock the way she sang. So the song went like this, troubles me come, and troubles me go, but there's one thing I know, it's gonna be It's gonna be okay. It's just the way God planned it. Hold on. And I used to love to hear that, hear her sing that song in high school, y'all. Troubles may come and troubles may go, but it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. Just hold on. Come on, y'all. Today's keep calm and trust God. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in the time of trouble. Our quote by Dwight L. Moody is, when you have no strength, lean on God and you will become powerful. Oh, listen at the birds. The birds giving God praise this morning. Listen at them. The earth, all the earth. It's giving God praise this morning. The birds are praising with me this morning. 
I love it. I love it. When you have no strength, lean on God and you will become more powerful. The Bible says after you receive the Holy Spirit, after a power, I'm paraphrasing, a power. Come on, y'all. The Holy Ghost. So, breaking down today's keep calm and trust God. Come on, birds. I don't know where you at, but you're giving them glory. I looked at the three words that stood out to me the most in this particular keep calm and trust God is refuge, strength, and presence. God has reminded us in this particular passage of scripture that he is our refuge, which means he is our shelter. He's our protector. When when the storms of life is raging, you know, uh, 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 he will protect us. He's our shelter. He's our covering. Um, I remind of Psalm 91 where it says, um, he that dwell um, in the shelter of the Most High, um, his wings, you know, that's that dwelling place, his shelter, his covering. So refuge is a shelter. Strength means support, that God will hold you up. He will, he will support us. He's our strength, his word. You know, there's another scripture that comes in mind that talks about building your house on sink and sand. What are you building your life on? What are you building your business on? What are you building your marriage on? What are you building on? If he tells us that he is our strength, which is support, then that means we need to always keep him first and trust him and present. Present means now. He's your strength. He's your refuge now. Uh, the trouble is now. He's here now. I love it. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Keep calm and trust God. He's our refuge, shelter, strength, support. Present means now, guys. Now, now, and now. So whatever you're doing, take out time throughout the day to give God glory and honor for all for these three things. Shelter, support, and now. Shelter, support, and now. Take the time now and thank God for everything that he has done and what he is going to do, continue to do in your life. Ask me how I know. Angie, well, how do you know? Because I'm a witness. God has been a shelter for me. God has been support to me in so many things. When my mom died, you know, when I was sick, when the doctors gave me all kind of crazy issues. In marriage is when I really didn't know how to be a wife to my husband. You know, in ministry, when I didn't know the words to say. During prayer time, think about it. Our life is all about Christ. So, because... We are going through so many things um, day to day. Even in the world, we have COVID running rampant. We have the gun wars, you know, government, you know, on our local jobs. We have businesses, so many things that are happening around us that is birthing anxiety in us and not even realizing that it is causing anxiety. So we have to take a minute, stop, Keep calm and trust God in every avenue, in every endeavor of our life. Again, today's keep calm and trust God comes from Psalms 46 and 1. God is our refuge, shelter, strength, support, a very present now help in trouble. You guys, the quote from Dwight L. Moody, when you have no strength, lean on God and you will become powerful. And you will become powerful. And you become powerful. Why will you become powerful? Because you're no longer operating in your will. You're no longer operating in your might. You are allowing God to take control over your life in every area. To the smallest decisions as far as what I have for breakfast in the morning. To the clothes that I'm going to wear outside. Down to the point of how I style my hair. God created me a clean heart and renewed the right spirit of creativity in me. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. We give you glory and honor. honor and we know that worry is a sin. Matthew 6 and 33. Matthew chapter 6. Read the whole Matthew chapter 6. That thing will just bless you all the way. Do not worry because he's already provided. As the word says in Psalms 46 and 1. Refuge strength. And 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 present help, refuge, strength, and help when now. Don't forget like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell anyone and everyone you know. 
about Jesus. Okay, guys, I ran out of recording time. I am back. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell anyone and everyone you know about what's going on in the world with your girl, Angie, in real life. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join a channel membership. And if this video has brought any value to you, if this video has empowered you, encouraged you, or inspired you in any way, or motivated you in any way, feel free to give a super thanks. Remember, God is our refuge and our strength in a very present help in a time of trouble. Y'all know what to do. What you make happen for others, God, to make happen for you. One plant, one water, but it's the almighty God that gives the increase. Y'all know what to do. In the meantime, between time, live, baby, live. See you tomorrow. Angie and real life.